Hey guys, TechiegHD here again with another video, and today I have my top tweaks for iOS 8.1, all compatible with the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus running iOS 8.1. Now, as you guys can see here, this is an iPhone 6 Plus, this is, or rather, an iPhone 6. This is my 64 gigabyte factory unlocked iPhone 6. As you guys can see here, it is running iOS 8.1. Let me just zoom in here so you guys can take in uh, a better look. There you go, iOS 8.1, and what I'm going to do here is scroll over to the next page and show you that I do have Cydia here, so of course it is jailbroken, as you guys can tell. Now this is a fully 100% untethered jailbreak. If you guys would like to see uh, how to jailbreak your device, uh, do remember to head over to my channel, the link to which is in the description, of course, and also you could just hit the little Tech Geek HD name right there. Uh, and of course there is a full tutorial on how to jailbreak your device using either a PC or a Mac. Um, fully untethered for all of your iOS 8.1 devices. So regardless, without any further ado, let's get straight on into the video. Now the first tweak that I'm going to be showing you guys is exclusive to devices with the Touch ID sensor, and this is called Lock Glyph. Now basically what this allows you to do is add the Apple Pay animation when unlocking your device using Touch ID. So as you guys can see here, it no longer says slide to unlock, but in fact shows me the Apple Pay uh, animation over there for the fingerprint. Then if I use a registered finger, it's going to show me a check mark and unlock my device. Now, of course, this does work only with registered fingers. So if I use one of my fingers which is not registered, it's only going to show me the animation and not unlock the device. Now, this does come with a fair amount of customizability. What you can do is scroll down in your settings and you will probably find, or most likely you're going to find, um, the little toggle area right here for a lock glyph where you can turn on and off the unlock sound as well as use the tick animation or just disable the tweak entirely. There is actually an unlock sound. I'm going to turn it on right here and show you guys. There you go. I just personally find it rather annoying because I'm always locking and unlocking my phone. But regardless, it is there if you guys would like it. Now the next tweak that I'm going to be showing you guys is actually coming to you straight from Android and that is called Mobius. Now as you guys can see, I am on the first page of my iOS device, the iPhone 6. You can tell by the page dots right there. Now I'm going to scroll over to my last page. And now if I scroll over to the right one more time, the tweak actually allows me to go straight back to my first page. Now this tweak is called Mobius, spelled M-O-B-I-U-S, and it is available inside of Cydia for free, so go ahead and download it. Now the next tweak I'm going to be showing you guys actually changes the custom animations of your home screen from scrolling from page to page as you guys can see here. But contrary to popular belief or what you might be thinking, this is not actually the tweak barrel that you might be used to. This is a new tweak called Cylinder and again is available inside of Cydia for free. Now Cylinder has a lot of different effects that, that barrel just simply does not have. I find it a little bit better, it's a lot more stable with iOS 8 and iOS 8.1 devices such as the iPhone 6 and so I've chosen to use Cylinder. Now the next tweak that I have to show you guys is actually a tweak that you guys can see in action on my screen at the moment. You might see that I don't have any icon labels and it makes for a much cleaner user experience and a UX in general. So if you guys would like to get this effect, do remember to go over to Cydia and download the tweak called No Icon Labels. It's that easy, it's a free tweak and it just basically gets rid of your icon labels in general. Now you will not see any labels anywhere, but that does not mean that your folders will not have names anymore, because a lot of people do question that, but your folders of course will still have names, you can still edit them and change them, it's only your icons that no longer have labels underneath them. Now the final tweak that I'm going to be showing you guys today is actually called Intube. Now this is a tweak that makes use of the third party integration that Apple is involved or included in iOS 8. Now all I'm going to do is open up the stock generic YouTube application which you guys can download for free from the App Store if you don't already have it. I'm going to come over to one of my videos over here on my channel. Uh, let's just check out the what's on my Mac video. Now of course there's an advertisement playing there which I don't want to play at the moment. But as you guys can see, you will see a little Intube button after installing the tweak when watching a YouTube video. All you have to do is tap it and you're going to get a couple of options here allowing you to download the video in either high definition, standard definition, or low definition. Now I'm going to hit HD for the purpose of this video and you will see a label pop up there. But basically what that lets you know is that the video is not only downloading, but it's actually downloading in the official Apple iTunes Store application. So if I head over here to the iTunes Store 
hit more and downloads. There you guys can see what's on my Mac November 2014, the video we were just watching, is actually downloading. Now I'm gonna cancel this download here, but of course, since it is actually downloading inside of the iTunes Store application, the iPhone recognizes it as an official purchase from the iTunes Store or an actual download from the iTunes Store, and thus it doesn't go into any other application, but actually saves itself into your original videos folder in your uh, movies application on your iPhone which is really awesome because it seems like it's really well integrated. You don't have to go through the hassle of having another useless application on your springboard uh, and it basically just integrates really, really well. It's a wonderful tweak and I would definitely recommend checking it out. Now that's about it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please do remember to leave the video a thumbs up by hitting the little like button in the bottom right hand corner of this video. Yeah. Regardless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, it would be great if you could leave it a like. And for more videos like these, as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials, Cydia videos, tweaks, jailbreak-related news, etc., please do remember to subscribe. It's going to keep you up to date with all the latest HD content, and it really does help the channel grow. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.